March Madness has already started, but the NCAA tournament is now underway. I'm Chelsea Sherrod. He's Sammy P, our sports betting expert. The first four play today and tomorrow, with the first and second rounds tipping off this weekend. Sammy, let's start with a couple of our New England teams who are favored in the first round. I'll give you the spread. You tell me if they can cover. UConn, minus 6.5 versus New Mexico State, and Providence, minus 2.5 versus South Dakota State. I actually like both teams. I think they're both undervalued, especially Providence after that game where they lost by a lot. I think the other team just scored another basket to go up by 40. But that being said, like that doesn't translate over to the tournament. Providence, if anything, is a stock you might want to buy low on. If that game is a lot tighter and Providence loses by five, the Friars were likely a four or a five point favorite in this matchup. And hell, they're probably even a higher seed in the game. So this is a good chance for you to buy low on Providence, you can lay two and a half. They could easily win this game by five, six, or seven. UConn's a tougher number because laying over two possessions, it always gets tricky. Yeah. Say they're up by seven or eight, and the other team comes down, bangs a three. They win, but they don't cover. I'm not going to lay six and a half. If I had to pick one, I would, believe it or not, lay it with the Friars, which I don't think you saw coming. <laughs> I did not see coming, especially based on your Twitter profile. Uh, uh, okay, Sammy, a follow-up for you, though. Arkansas is minus six versus Vermont in the West region. Could we see an upset here? I think we could. I'm hoping for one because I took some six with the Catamounts. Very slow, methodical basketball team. They love to sort of drag it up and down the floor. They're not easy to play against, and they have pretty much a senior at every single position. They start four of five upperclassmen on that roster, very good coach, and they dominated that conference tournament yeah. in the East. Um, I think Vermont's going to cover. Can they win? Of course, it's March Madness, but I feel a lot more comfortable taking the six. Okay, if they do win, we could see Vermont and UConn in Ooh, the second round. That'd be fun like for that. New Englanders. All right, Sammy, let's talk sleeper teams. Do you have a team that you think could make the Final Four that everyone else does not think Sure, that. I'm glad you justified because one of my sleepers is Colgate, but are they going to make the Ooh. Final Four? No, <laughs> they're not. So to make the Final Four, if you shop around, you can find about pl uh, plus 450 or 5 to 1 on the Purdue Boilermakers. And this is a team with Jaden Ivey, one of the best guards in the country. They've got wings that can flat out shoot it from downtown. And they've got that kid, Zach Eady, in the middle, 7 foot 4. Not easy to float over or to score over. They rebound the ball well. And the Big Ten is going to have one of these teams make a push. I think Purdue at about 5-1 to one to crash the party and make the Final Four is a good bet. Okay. I'm always rooting for Colgate, though. I spent some time in Central New York. And Matt Langle does his thing out there. So, Colgate, we'll see what you can do in the tournament. All right, Sammy. Gonzaga is the overall favorite to win the title at plus 300, the number one overall seed. But I also did see a pretty cool tweet with you from you about some action with Arizona. A $30,000 future bet on the Cats, 6-1 to one to win 180000 I can't confirm I did not make this bet. <laughs> if I were to bet on any team, given the number and I think the potential payout, you look at Kansas. I bet them before the year 20 to 1. Wrote it on Nesson.com. That number has been halved, so it's about 10 or 12 to 1, depending on where you shop. Given their offense and given their ability to score and pretty much outscore anybody, that Kansas-Iowa game is going to be a fun one, assuming those two teams meet. But I think Kansas has the easiest path to the Final Four, and I like them to cut down the nets. All right, Kansas, you heard the man. I like Iowa, but we'll leave that there. Fill out your brackets. Best of luck to everyone. Thanks, Sammy.